It says dreams, and that's what we're trying to do. We have a dream to find a cure for cancer, and that's what Dan's Cancer Initiative is all about. So thanks for tuning in, and if you want to help at home, please jump on the website right now and check it. Ah, stay tuned. We've got some more amazing performances straight after the break. You're watching DCI. guys from Showbiz Performing Arts Studio. Now, this is their first time at DCI. They've just come off the stage. Did you guys have fun? Yes! It looked like you had a great time up there on the stage. Now, why is it so important for people to do DCI? Um, well, I think it's very important because it shows lots of support to people who have been affected by cancer. <laughs> Definitely. And if you want to get your school involved, jump on the website that's appearing on your screen now and who knows, it may be you up here next year. Thanks for watching DCI. It's been an amazing episode and to close out tonight's show, we've got one of the coolest dance schools going around, Dance Arts United. I love these guys. Um, why is it so important to do something like DCI? Well, it's a really great way to you know, raise awareness and just support the cause, so it's awesome. Definitely. And Emily, I'll let you introduce the item. Yes, yeah, so we're Dance Arts United and tonight we're performing Samba. <laughs> We've had such a fantastic episode tonight, so thank you so much for tuning in. To close out the show, we've got one of the best schools I know. This is Studio One Dance Centre. They're about to absolutely smash it. Are you guys pumped? Yeah! Let's check out their performance. Thanks for watching DCI. Welcome to DCI. What a great way to get tonight's episode started. The fabulous crew from Flashdance Performing Arts. Now, if you feel inspired, jump on the website that's appearing on your screen now. Dig deep, donate, help us dance towards a cure. We'll be back right after this break with some more amazing performances. You're watching DCI. The awesome dancers from Miss Marnie's Dance Factory have just come off the stage and it was a fantastic performance. Isabella, did you have fun? Yes. Fantastic. And you guys have been with DCI for a few years now. What makes you keep coming back? Um, well, you're raising money for the Cancer Council and it's such a good opportunity to come back and support all those people living with cancer. Definitely. And if you feel inspired, please jump on the website that's appearing on your screen now. Dig deep, donate and help us dance towards a cure. Let's hear it one more time for Miss Marnie's Dance Factory. Now I have Maddie here. This is her last year at DCI. Do you want to tell everyone why? Um, I will be heading over to the US um, and completing a two year scholarship in New York City for performing arts. So. <laughs> that is a fantastic achievement. Congratulations. I know you've been with DCI since day one, so it's been seven years. So great achievement there. We wish you all the best. And now let's check out their routine. This is Johnny on Callan School Mill Park. Was it, was it frustrating? Definitely, definitely frustrating. You're living in this, this mansion, and don't get me wrong, beautiful mansion. Step up from my joint, 100%. Um, but, yeah, you're sort of going, come on, dude, like, take me out. So when we got to dodgeball, it was on. Yeah. But you seem to be like, this is my first day out. It was, it was seriously like I'd been locked up, and finally, just even driving to the date, I'm like, oh my God, cars, people. Because it was, it was um, quite tough just sort of being locked down in that situation. But I should point out that after that day, out of everybody here, you were the first person to actually undress him. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> but so, yes, yes. I saw that he had a robe on. I knew he had his bathers underneath. And, well, you were hoping. Well, actually, I, <laughs> I could have gone either way. I'd be fine with it, let's be honest. Um, <laughs> I look, I was, uh, I thought, why not? Well, the statistics back the theory, and so do our next guests. Australia is caught up in a man drought. So, to avoid these sorts of Bridget Jones moments, I'm joined now by Mark McCrindle from McCrindle Research, Penny Palman, who is 36 and, believe it or not, single, and psychologist and dating coach Melanie Schilling joins us now live from Thanks. Melbourne. Good morning, and it's great to see we all got the yellow memo this morning. Yes. <laughs> We're wearing our uniform. Exactly. That's Mark, you know, you're out there in, on the single circuit. What's it like for you? Um, yeah, it's not easy. It's definitely true, and I think I need to move to Western Australia. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, it's not easy out there. There's definitely um, a man drought. I'm feeling it. It's hard to find a date, even. Do you think blokes have worked this out, that there's actually 
less of them out there and so they can be more picky? Yeah, that's exactly right. They, they sort of sit back and go, you come to me now and they'll sort of pick and choose who they want and we just want to meet a nice guy and have some fun and yeah, it's not easy. All right, let's go over to Melanie now. Now, Melanie, Melanie, Penny, do you think you'll be Pleasure. single for a while to come yet? No, definitely not. He's out there somewhere. Call me. <laughs> <laughs> and in the meantime, I'll have a great time looking for some and maybe get myself a toy boy or something. I don't know. All right. Be careful what I'll you wish you, for. Penny. There's a very wide audience <laughs> watching this program this morning. <laughs> okay. Penny, thanks a lot for that. Thanks, Melanie, and thanks, Mark. Always awesome. good to see you. Yeah, like My name is Penny and I'm 35 years old, I know, shocking, <laughs> and I'm an editor by day and by night I'm a group fitness instructor. I'm competitive in sports, I'm competitive in work, I want to do my best, but I'm also quite caring and I'm very much a giver in, in, in relationships. I tend to fall in love really easily because it's something that I want in my life. Definitely have my heart broken. But I think that makes you a stronger person. I think if you go through life with none of that heartache, you're kind of living in a bubble. I mean, great, fantastic, lucky you, but it makes you a tougher person. Oh my God, I can't believe I just did that. <laughs> I'm looking for a guy that's honest, that is serious about having a relationship with somebody, which is why being on The Bachelor is so exciting, because I know that he's here for the right reasons. I found love a few times in my life, or at least I thought I did, and that is the most important thing in life. I think all you need is love. You could have cars, fancy cars, fancy clothes, all that sort of stuff, and at the end of the day, if you don't have that special person to share it with, it means nothing. So I think that's why I'm ready, because that's the one thing that's sort of missing. I've got, I feel like I've achieved everything, and that's the one thing that's missing in my life.